In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called predicting qualitatively how entropy changes with temperature and volume. Before we solve the problem, let's just make a list of like how temperature affects entropy and how volume changes affect entropy as well. If the temperature of a system increases, this is always going to cause an increase in entropy. If the temperature decreases, this always causes a decrease in entropy. If the volume increases and substances have more room to spread around, this is also going to cause an increase in entropy. And if the volume decreases, it causes a decrease in entropy. And some of these problems are going to ask you just about a temperature change, and some of them will ask you just about a volume change. Some of them will ask you about a temperature volume change together. And in those situations, you kind of have to pay attention. If the temperature is going up and the volume is also going up, then obviously this is going to be an increase in entropy. If the temperature is going down and the volume is going down, that would be a decrease in entropy. But if you have a mix, uh, a mismatch, so like if temperature goes up and the volume goes down or vice versa, if temperature goes down and the volume goes up, then we don't know exactly what the, what the entropy would be for that. And that's why you have this option for some of these um, not enough information. Okay, uh, another thing, oh, another thing is a change in state. So the first, like the first question is asking about changing in state, it's condensing to a liquid at constant temperature. If you are going from a solid to a liquid or from a liquid to a gas or from a solid to a gas, this is also going to cause an increase in entropy. And if we're going the other way from a gas to a liquid or from a liquid to a solid, that will cause a decrease in entropy. So this first one is talking about condensation, which is gas going to a liquid. So that means this is going to be a decrease in entropy. The value of entropy is going to be a negative number. Here we have carbon dioxide being heated, so that's consistent with an increase in entropy, and expanding, that means its volume is going up, so that's also an increase in entropy. Um, since both of those conditions are increasing the entropy, then our delta S is going to be a positive number, it's increasing. And here we have helium that's being heated, so that's a temperature going up, that's an increase. The volume is being held constant when there's no change to the volume. The, the volume is not having any impact on entropy at all. So here we're just looking at an increase in temperature. Oh, I picked the wrong one. So that means that our entropy increases as well.